corn earworm destroyed some of my corn last year. How do I control them this year so they will not be a problem for me this summer? Corn earworm. BT, BT sweet corn. Have you heard of BT sweet corn? I haven't heard of BT sweet corn yet. There until is, now. There is BT sweet corn that is labeled that you can get. And I had some last year. Ah. We grew a plot out at Agri Center and it was most excellent. <laughs> I, that's what I would do. Okay. I would try to find some that's, that's BT. You know, it's, it's a g genetically modified organism oh, that okay. you don't have to worry about corn earworms as much unless you really plant them late in the year. Uh, I don't think I s saw any on our test plot this past year. Uh, but um, you can spray with uh, the pyrethroids, bifenthrin, uh, 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 is it one of the insecticides that's recommended, but you have to, you have to spray uh, regularly oh, if wow. you go with a susceptible, susceptible uh, you know, a variety that will get the corn earworm. And you, uh, you, you can ch try to choose varieties that have a real tight shuck. And uh, toward, you know, some varieties uh, kind of expose the mm -hmm. tip of the ear a little bit, and those are more, they receive a lot more damage than the others that are a little tight. But use the insecticide every three to five days, wow. spraying the tips Ooh. of the, of the uh, uh, ear, and uh, you can keep that from happening. Plant early. The earlier you plant, the better off you're going to be. So the earlier uh, you plant. Uh, but um, BT. <laughs> BT sweet corn is a, is a way to go, <laughs> in my opinion. And there's several varieties that have that technology. It must be good. Look at his grinning. Yeah. He must like that. No, they're I good. Have to try that next <laughs> <time>. Yeah, <laughs> okay. sounds good. I like corn too. It's, it's good. <laughs>